Now, this is uh, the rice pudding that I started earlier. Mm -hmm. we do in, this is a kheer, as we call it in India, mm -hmm. which is the Indian version of rice pudding. Mm -hmm. So this is basically just the uh, rice in it mm -hmm. at this stage and, and the milk. Right. It is uh, being cooked. And that's pre-cooked rice? or No, it, no. We, it's, it's cooking at, it's just raw. Yes, we took okay. the raw rice, we soaked it for about an hour mm -hmm. in the, in, in just in a little water. Yeah. And uh, we started with uh, homogenized milk mm -hmm. and we added rice to it. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. And how long has that been cooking now? This has been cooking for about uh, 45 minutes now. Okay. Yeah, this is something once the rice is cooked, we got to turn down the heat and cook it at a slow heat, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, in order to reduce the milk. If the milk is reduced, the rice are fully cooked, that's when the taste is real, really good. So basically, you would start the dessert right at the beginning of your meal as you're yes. cooking, and by yeah. the end, yeah. it's finished, and yeah. you're good Again, to depends how you're serving this. If you're serving it warm, you can serve it straight off the stove. If you're serving it cold, you have to cook it beforehand. But with kheer, I, I, I know people always uh, uh, tend to make it earlier. Yeah, okay. And uh, Is it better serve it. once it's yes. uh, refrigerated? Yeah. Or? yeah, again, it depends upon yeah. the taste. Yeah. Today, we'll be, with, I think the way I've done it, um, maybe once we, we eat this meal, mm -hmm. by the time we reach for the dessert, it will be probably at a room temperature. Okay. And if you like it warm, you can always uh, make it warm. Or Give you me. can have it warm yeah. in the winter and... Yes. Have you put cinnamon on it? Uh, no. Is that not? No. Not is that? Uh, the cinnamon against is against the Indian law. Against the Indian law of food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> against the Indian law of rice pudding. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's no cinnamon in it. Right. So far, it is rice, milk, mm -hmm. and uh, we would. I there's no sugar at the moment yet. Okay. But we would add sugar to this at a later stage when we're about to be done. Right. The reason is sugar burns very quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't know whether you've been made to eat uh, burnt sugar rice pudding by our moms and dads. We have been, and it's very, very <laughs> repulsive flavor and feeling. You don't want to repeat no, that. No, <laughs> no. So, so uh, the sugar in any dessert which you cook on the, on the stove is always added at the last minute because sugar will burn very quickly. So at this stage, there is no sugar in this, mm -hmm. but given another maybe three, four minutes, mm -hmm. I would add sugar to this. Okay. okay. So, so this one here is, is the finished uh, product, mm -hmm. and I would just uh, garnish it now. And there is, uh, this is the black, uh, this is the green cardamom seeds. Okay. These are the green cardamoms. Mm -hmm. Green cardamoms. And where do we buy those? Uh, this you could, you you will have to go to an Indian store. Okay. Uh, we call it elaichi, green cardamoms. Uh, it's the same family as black cardamoms, but incidentally the flavors are very different. Mm -hmm. uh, this one here is more used in desserts and all. Mm -hmm. So, but it's uh, it's uh, the seed which is more flavorful. So you only need about six or seven of those. Yeah. Uh, this is actually, in fact, these are only four cardamoms. Okay. So okay. what I would do is I would crush them lightly. Mm -hmm. With this motor and pestle. Mm -hmm. And I would just sprinkle it on top here. Uh -huh. hmm. oh. Now, this one here, we could actually mix it in. Because we are going to be adding more garnish on the top, right, right in front of you. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to be adding. This is saffron. Mm -hmm. See saffron and green cardamom. Some people would also cook it at the last stage where they add sugar to it, mm -hmm. but I prefer to do it afterwards. Right. This way, just take a little bit of saffron on it, mm -hmm. and just crush it, mm -hmm. and roll over it. Right. As if you are doing salting your dish. Okay. That's saffron, and this is our wonderful uh, pistachios. Mm -hmm. These are shell pistachios. These have been soaked in uh, water for about a couple of hours, mm -hmm. so they become soft. 
and again. Wow. Now, is this a very traditional Indian dish, the way you are preparing? Very traditional, very authentic. Okay. Yeah. That's it. I guess it's time to enjoy everything now. Wow. Looks great. Love the pistachios. A lot of flavor. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Mm, yummy, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs>